They're playing really classic music here. Very elegant. Lots of grandeur. Look at these chandeliers. I wonder how old these chandeliers are because this hotel was built in 1929, but it's been updated and renovated since. We gotta find that couch that Elton John sat on too. We're currently in search of our next destination. It'll be west, for sure. The question is, will it be Canada or will it be United States? Dun, dun, dun. Do not try to bend the spoon. That is impossible. Instead, realize that there is no spoon. Oh, wait, there's my food. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot of fajita. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know it came with potatoes. Mm -hmm. I had to give you two ketchups. You want some? Yeah. Oh, that's a salsa. Yeah, salsa and ketchup. And ketchup. Mm -hmm. Ketchup. I'm, I might order a breakfast sandwich. All right, while well, we are in search of Airbnbs, I wonder what a potato would taste like with salsa on it. Add your potatoes. Everything's really good. I'm devouring this steak frittata. We've been honored to be graced by her presence here to eat breakfast with us. I don't know if it's a, if it's a yogurt parfait, but it says yogurt. I know what it says. Yeah, all of these are bring your own linen. Bring your own linen? <laughs> all right, let's see here. So... We are, nope, not that one, nope, there we go. So far, we have gone 2,701 miles, which is actually, I think, almost 4,500 kilometers traveling up from Florida through Georgia, through Tennessee, despite claims that Tennessee is full. Tennessee didn't seem full to me, but what do I know? Did we cross over into Kentucky for a few minutes? Mm -hmm. Kentucky, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, and then into Canada. And then from there, it's anybody's guess. So we just got done eating breakfast. And I want to tell you guys about this email that I received from uh, a viewer Nonetheless, subject line, my YouTube channel got hacked and how I got my Google account and YouTube channel back. And this was actually uh, the title of a video from another YouTube content creator that if I can get my computer to pull it up, I would show it to you. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But for some reason, this didn't want to pull up. But you can see here on my MacBook Air that YouTube video. And this is from Annie Elise X10 to Life. Never heard of this content created before, but I'm gonna have to check out this video and understand and learn about what happened so I can be aware and continuously stay protected, keep my channels protected, but also figure out what they did to get it back just so I have that information available. But the other thing I want to share with you was a comment that came through. And that comment was, hang, hang on, let me try to find a comment. All right, I got the comment pulled up here. So I'll read it to you guys. And it says, great content. You guys are blessed to be able to travel like you do. I'm 64 years old and live here in Charleston, South Carolina. I have a YouTube channel centered around my ride share driving experiences my goal is to give viewers a look at what it's like to see the low country area. I'd like to eventually own a nice camera and get out of my truck and film and take nice photos to add to the videos. At least that's my goal. Good luck to you in the growth of your channel. Well, I appreciate that Clint's Outdoor Adventures and likewise. And with that being said, let me show you guys around. Now, this is something I really want you guys to see. Check this out. This is a little bit of a history. Uh, visual representation of the evolution of this hotel 
Grant Hall. Started in 1927. And then we can see here, 1938 grand opening. And something stuck on my shoe. I don't know what that is. I got a garbage can over here. But then, 1950, 1967, uh, they added a story to the east side. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip made their royal visit in 1978. However, a few years later, the Grant Hall closed, run down, and in need of some repair. Here's the cool part. It was purchased for a dollar. Now granted, it needed a lot of work, but to be able to buy this building for one dollar, epic. Uh, Grand Hall reopening with a uh, sofa sat in by Elton John, or maybe a sofa set made by Elton John. We're not sure if it's sat or set. Maybe it's a typo. And then we can see here, 2019, uh, we have a new owner of the Grant Hall in 2022, just last year, we just have an updated photo. Oh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, speaking of pretty cool, that's what the temperature is out here. But uh, it's it feels good. It feels really, really good. And uh, if you've never been to Moose Jaw, <laughs> which odds are, I'd be willing to bet, a lot of people have never been to Moose Jaw, Canada. This is Main Street. Main Street, Moose Jaw, Canada. This is the Grant Hotel here that where we're staying. And down the street there is Evolve. Reminds me of our first house. Bed's up there, and then look how much space it is. Is Evolve Coffee. We've had Evolve Coffee. There's a Brown Social House, which we haven't tried that Brown Social House, but even further down is Tunnels, which we did a Tunnels tour yesterday. That was pretty cool. Um, also down there is the Philly Place. Hold on, I'm not gonna do this first. Oh, I didn't even see those over there. Yes, please. Thank you. What, oh, yes, please. I didn't really so he gave us vinegar for our fries and our cheesesteaks. I didn't know it was like literally right there. He went out of his way to bring us back, so that's exciting. Service here is... Which I don't remember the name of the Philly place, but it was an amazing Philly place. And further down here is a Greek place. Again, I don't remember the name of that place either, but uh, we had dinner there last night. So uh, I'll show you guys some clips from these places and experiences that we've had so far and then uh we'll just take a little walk a little jaunt down this alley here and uh this is a side entrance to the hotel just to answer a few questions people ask hey kevin what microphone are you using and this microphone right here is the dji wireless mic uh it's got an adapter it's got a receiver actually it's got two transmitters which works out really well but the receiver has a USB-C or an uh, Apple Lightning connection and it plugs directly into the port on my phone or an iPhone. Uh, I don't think it works on an iPad though is what I heard but hey uh, I use Android so I don't have to worry about those Apple glitches. Now here is where we parked and here is our trusty steed that has been racking up miles or should i say kilometers uh over the last few days couple weeks dirty as all get out um look at that look at this activity we got going on here on the front bumper it's epic but what i want to do is i want to put together a road trip update uh 4500 kilometer trip update driving the porsche macan gts from destin florida all the way to 
now Saskatchewan or Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. I want to do that. It looks like we got a uh, farmer's market or something going on over here. So I'm going to get Michelle to come out here and check that out because she's probably going to want to see that or maybe buy some stuff. She, you know, loves supporting small locally owned businesses. But either way, this is the back side of the hotel. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of his history and other historic buildings around here. Maybe we can throw that together on a Squirrel Tribe Life video. And make sure you check out the links in the description because it has links to our other channels. And these other channels touch on different topics or show different views or different angles of a lot of these different things to really bring you guys in full circle to the full picture. Um, with that being said, another uh, tech gear um, insight into what I use. I'm not saying that you should or what's better or anything. I'm just telling you what I use. And so I got the DJI wireless mic and I really like it for a variety of reasons. If you want me to go through it in great detail, comment down below, let me know. Uh, and as far as best camera, better camera, uh, I literally just use my smartphone. It's super simple, it's super easy. I can edit videos on my phone. I can upload it over the air or connect it to a Wi-Fi connection. And uh, the battery life is superb, easy charging in comparison to what I have used, which would be a Sony ZV-1. Uh, poor battery life, very heavy, very, very big. Uh, and then you gotta take the footage off the camera, off the memory card and put it on a computer and do all that other fun stuff. And besides that, GoPro Hero, I think it's 11 black, maybe 12, whichever one, I bought it a few months ago. Even with the Enduro battery, it's better, but it's not great. So uh, in my opinion, I've just found, I've had a lot of success with this, with my smartphone and even better, this new S23, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from the standpoint of uh, stabilization without a gimbal. I'm literally holding this with a tripod right now. I don't have a gimbal. Noise cancellation in the wind, superb. Um, camera quality, video quality, audio quality, battery life, even the capacity. I went with a 256 gig, but you can get a 512 or you can get a one terabyte or maybe even a two terabyte at this point. So we're gonna head in here. This is the uh, side entrance into the hotel. And uh, I'm gonna go and head upstairs and get ready to check out and, and head over to our next destination. So you guys stick around, stay tuned. That's the restaurant we ate at for breakfast. And uh, I don't know why I feel like I need to whisper when I come inside of here, but it's like super old and super fancy, but super elegant. Got nice art, but yeah, check out these clips from some of our adventures so far and uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.